Hello security gurus, welcome to this new lecture. In this lecture, we are going to create a master branch within our source code repo present in GitLab. So let's jump into the action. As you can see, we are on GitLab dashboard and this is our repository. On the right side, you will see a drop down where you can see that we only have one branch which is main branch. Now the reason for creating master branch is that some tools like Sonar Cloud use master branch as the default branch for running Sonar Cloud analysis and this is the default setting within Sonar Cloud. We can change those settings as well but in enterprise scenarios 90% of the organizations create a master branch where they keep their source code and the master branch is the final branch where the source code is merged. So that's why we are going to create a master branch and we are going to delete the main branch. So let's jump into the action. In order to see all the branches, we need to go to the branches option. Let's click on it. As you can see, now we can see all the active branches for our source code repo within GitLab. Now, in order to create a new branch, we will have to click on new branch button. Let's click on it. Now we need to provide a branch name. We are going to provide the branch name as master branch. So I'll type master and we are going to create the master branch from our main branch. So let's click on create branch button. As you can see, we have successfully created a master branch and if we click on drop down for the branches, we will see our new master branch as well. And we will see both the branches. One is main and, and one is master branch. But now, as of now, main branch is the default branch. So we need to change that setting as well. So let's go to settings of GitLab for this project. We will scroll down and we will be able to see the option settings. We will be able to see the option repository. Let's click on it. Now you will find this option default branch. Let's click on expand option to change the default branch for our project within GitLab. I'll click on expand. I'll click on drop down and I will select the master branch as default branch. Let's click on save changes. Now let's go back to our repo and let's go back to branches. As you can see, our master branch is now the default branch and we can delete our main branch. So let's click on delete option. Now we are going to delete the main branch so that we do not have any confusion while running our code. I'll type main. We can delete our branch after typing the name of the branch. As it says, please type the following to confirm which is name of the branch, which is main branch. I'll click yes, delete the branch. I'll click on it and now you can see that we only have one branch which is master branch and it is the default branch. So that's how you create a new branch for your repository in GitLab. You also saw how to change the default branch for your source code repo in GitLab and how to delete a branch within GitLab for your source code. I hope you enjoyed this lecture. In the next lectures, we are going to implement DevSecOps within GitLab. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you in the next lecture.